Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss this practical. Uh, the aim of the practical is to determine the resistance per centimeter of a given well by plotting a graph of potential difference versus current. And this is the circuit of this practical. So our aim is to determine the resistance per unit length of a given well, of a given resistance well by plotting a graph of potential difference versus current. Okay. So, so let's start the practical. At first, I'm going to discuss this circuit diagram, and then we will come to the instrument. So, uh, now, see this. This is the battery, and this is the key. This will be the rheostat variable resistance, and this will be the resistance well, whose resistance per centimeter will be uh, calculated by us. And this is the voltmeter, and this is the ammeter. You can see the positive terminal of the battery is connected with the positive terminal of the ammeter. And the negative terminal of the ammeter is connected with the, uh, with the resistance well. And the other uh, terminal of the resistance well is connected to the rheostat. And another end of the rheostat is connected to the key. And the other end of the key is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Okay. We should remember this. Uh, for battery and ammeter and voltmeter, we can see positive and negative terminals. But for rheostat or resistance and for key, no positive negative terminal is there. Both terminals are seen. Okay. And the voltmeter is connected parallel to the resistance. Okay. Uh, we always connect ammeter in series with the circuit and we connect voltmeter in parallel with the resistance. So now uh, let's start the practical. Now we will see the required apparatus. At first we need the battery. This is the battery. This is the positive and this is the negative terminal of the battery. And now this is the key. This is our ammeter. It's our voltmeter. This is our rheostat, variable resistance. And this is our resistance wear. Okay. We have to measure the resistance of this resistance wear. And these all are our connecting wires. We use these wires as a connecting wires. Uh, the difference which between the connecting wire and the resistance wire is the, the resistivity of the connecting wire is very low. So the resistance of this connecting wires are very low. But in case of the resistance wire, the resistivity is very much high. So the resistance of these wires are very high. So we are using these wire as resistance wire. Now we will make the circuit according to the circuit diagram. We will connect the positive terminal of the battery with the positive terminal of the ammeter. And the negative terminal of the ammeter will be connected with the positive terminal of the voltmeter according to the circuit diagram. We have already shown the circuit diagram to you. And the negative terminal of the voltmeter will be connected to the one end of the rheostat. And the another end of the rheostat will be connected to the one end of the key. Another end means we have to take this end. We can't take this end as another end. Okay, we have to take this end and this end of the rheostat will be connected to one end of the key. And the another end of the key will be connected to the negative end of the battery. And in the circuit diagram we have said that voltmeter should be connected parallel to the resistance, right? So the resistance wire should be connected parallel to this voltmeter. Now our circuit is complete. Here the positive terminal of the battery is connected with the positive terminal of the ammeter. The negative terminal of the ammeter is connected with the positive terminal of the voltmeter. And the negative terminal of the voltmeter is connected with one end of the rheostat. And another end of the rheostat is connected with one end of the key. And another end of the key is connected with the negative terminal of the battery. And the resistance wire is connected with parallel to the voltmeter. Now we will check whether the circuit is responding or not. We have to connect this key. To complete the circuit. Now we can see voltmeter is also deflected and ammeter is also deflected. That means current is flowing to the circuit and our uh, circuit is doing well. Okay. 
Now we have to take the reading. Now at first we have to measure the least count of the voltmeter and the least count of the ammeter. Okay. I am just disconnecting this key. And when we will take the reading, then we will connect it again. If it is connected throughout, then current will flow the circuit throughout and then joule heating effect can occur and that's why the resistance of the wire can be increased. So, I am just disconnecting this key. When we will take reading, we will connect this again. Now, we have to measure the least count of the voltmeter. You can see that from 0 to 0 0.5 volt, 10 divisions are there, right? So, 10 division is equals to 0 0.5 volt that means 1 division is equals to 0 0.05 volt this is known as the least count of the voltmeter okay similarly we have to calculate the least count of the ammeter also. in the ammeter we can see from 0 to 0 0.2 10 divisions are there okay 10 division equals to 0 0.2 ampere so 1 division equals to 0 0.02 ampere hence the least count of the ammeter is 0 0.02 ampere okay now we have to take the reading now this is our table we have to take ammeter reading and voltmeter reading okay uh, changing the rheostat changing the resistance of the rheostat we will take ammeter reading and corresponding voltmeter reading okay let's start i'm connecting the key now voltmeter and ammeter is giving reading we have to change the position of the rheostat to take different reading From here we will start this okay here we can see the ammeter reading we have to place our eye exactly perpendicular so that we can see the reading clearly here we can see ammeter reading and voltmeter reading both here in the ammeter reading we can see five small lines are crossed by this indicator and here four small lines are crossed okay so the reading will so be. we will note down our reading here we can see five divisions into the least count this will be the current and four division voltmeter reading into the list count this will be the voltage okay this way we have to take four more readings now i'm changing the position of the rheostat Then we will take another reading. In ammeter reading, we can see 9 divisions and in voltmeter reading, 5 divisions. So, this will be our next ammeter reading and voltmeter reading. And now we are taking another reading by changing the position of the rheostat. Here by changing the position of the rheostat, we are taking another reading. This is the ammeter reading and this is the voltmeter reading. Here we can see 15 small divisions are crossed by the pointer and here 9 small divisions are crossed by the pointer so, this fourth one be the reading okay now we have to take our last reading now the next reading here we can see the ammeter reading here it is uh, this pointer has crossed 18 small divisions and for the voltmeter it has crossed 11 small divisions so this should be the reading now we have to calculate the resistance from this each reading we will divide the voltage by current and we, and we will get the resistance of this resistance where okay we have already taken the reading so i am disconnecting this key now we have calculated the resistance and we have to take the average of this this is the mean resistance of this resistance where we have got this by calculation now we have to plot the graph uh, potential difference versus current uh, and from there we have to calculate the resistance so this is our graph here you can see we have taken the x-axis at current axis and we have taken the y-axis as potential difference axis or we have also written the units okay now we have taken four, uh, 40 division as 0 0.1 in both x-axis and y-axis and we have started the graph from 0 0 we have to start the graph from 0 0 because uh, in case of ohm's law the graph should pass from origin okay so we have to take the origin from 0 0 and now we have taken 40 division as 0 0.1 so we have to calculate the smallest division one smallest division along x-axis is 0 0.1 divided by 40 this that means one smallest division in this graph is equals to 0 0.0025 ampere and one smallest division in y-axis is equals to 0 0.0025 volt okay now we have plotted the graph here and you can see we have taken the line from origin this is a straight line passing through origin and we have taken an average graph okay from this we have calculated the slope we have drawn a uh, triangle here and this is a this is b this is c the length of ab is 110 division multiply with the smallest division and the length of bc is uh, 70 uh, smallest small divisions into the smallest division one smallest division value by calculating this we have got 1.5714 ohm and by calculation we have got this uh, resistance and from graph we are uh, getting this resistance 
So in the aim we have discussed, we have to calculate the resistance per unit length. Now we have to measure the length of this resistance well by using meter scale and then we can divide the resistance by the length of this well. Then we will get the resistance per unit centimeter. Okay. In this practical, we are actually verifying the Ohm's law. We know this is the mathematical statement of Ohm's law. V equals to I or V is the potential difference. I equals to the current and R is the resistance. Right? We are taking the reading of different uh, voltage and different current. Then we are plotting them and we are getting a straight line passing through origin. And then we are drawing the slope. This is the del V and this is the del I. Then by dividing del V by del I, we are getting the slope and the slope is equals to the resistance. Okay? This is our uh, practical and here uh, it is asked to calculate the resistance per centimeter. That means uh, we have to divide the resistance with the length and we will get the unit as ohm per centimeter. Okay, this is the aim of the practical. Thank you everyone. I hope you can understand this. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Please like, share and subscribe the channel.